guys! Okay, so today on Aeros Games we are going to play Gone Home, which is a horror game, an indie horror game that I found on Steam a little while back. It was only $5, so I was like, why the hell not? We're going to play it. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for a game with a little more longevity, and so I think this will be one that has a couple different episodes to it. And so, we're going to play! Let's do it! Okay, arrow keys. What's the to walk, look around using the mouse, can do, can do attitude. Hi mom, uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you, see you soon, bye. So I'm guessing she's gone home. I get it. Makes sense, I guess. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. 1995, wow, we're going old school. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, let's hold right mouse or left shift to look closer. Ah, that's really close. Let's zoom out a little bit. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad anyone to know we'll see each other again someday don't be worried i love you sam no so much now oh grab the cup throw the cup walk around is this a la oh turn on the lamp can i pick no can't pick up the plants everyone oh going on everybody oh hello christmas okay press right mouse or left shift to examine oh We'll set you down right here so you can be... Oh no! <laughs> Good old Christmas duck! It's like it's like a family... Oh! It's like a family favorite. Let's take you! Oh, I don't even know the store was locked. Look at that. Let's just... Let's go. Oh! Oh. Wow. Okay, it's dark. Something's flickering. Oh. Um. Okay. Are we... Are we good? No jump scare? Oh! <laughs> that was not good timing. That really did scare me a little bit. Okay, what's over here? So they moved. Dear Katie. Oh, journal. So much has changed. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, Stay there. because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay, so Sam is the sister, I assume, not the lover, as I previously assumed. Yeah, a dark closet. Ooh, what's this? Can I take it? No. This must be your mother. Look, she's got the same weird 80s slash 90s haircut as you. Mmm. It must run in the family. He's freaking me out. Is there anything? I didn't even check. Oh, well. They're not gonna put anything important in a closet, right? Oh, lamp. Hi, lamp. Okay. Uh, oh. Dear Jan, so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Okay, I'm gonna read this to myself, and most of the stuff that I read in the game, I'm just gonna read to myself. And if you want to, you can pause and read it, and then, you know, get the gist of it. But we don't all have to sit here all day. Basically, what I'm hearing is she's jealous of the new house. This must be like an old family friend who's like, how are you doing? Oh, and still writes letters, even though, guess what, we're in a modern era. Oh, wait, but this is in the 90s, so that totally makes sense. Never mind. Okay, I get it. Alrighty. It's over here. Ooh. Phone? Hello? Hello? Naturally. Doesn't have any service. Um. Sam. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Girls got her priorities straight. So straight. Okay, messages. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Hmm. 
I wonder who that is talking. <laughs> Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Uh, please be there. Uh. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. Oh, I get we've already heard that one. Okay, that was interesting. So apparently someone was in trouble, and that kid didn't help anyone. Because we know this is you, and this is the mom with that same awesome haircut, and I'm guessing this is the great uncle stepfather. And then this must be other daughter. Where were you, Sam? Where were you, Sam? Right? Oh. I almost got it right. It's down here. Oh. What? I don't like dark. What's that thing blinking down in the hallway? Eh. Oh. Thanks a lot, Lamp, for freaking me out. God, okay. Ah, so we have a map. Oh, and here are our journals. Awesome, okay. So now I got a gist of the menu. Good to know, okay. Welcome to students. Oh my god, what is that? Oh. It's like a weather service announcement, but why is it coming from the freaking closet? Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. Hmm. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. Hmm. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Okay, so the person who previously owned this house died, and then it was given to his nephew Terrence Greenbrier, which is our main character's father, from what I have surmised. Which is interesting. Who is this lovely pink-haired lady? If I was bold enough, I would totally get pink hair or some crazy color. Like Kalel um, from Wonderland Wardrobe or, or Watch Us Live and stuff, whichever one you watched her from. I always wish I had the guts to like dye my hair some crazy blue color or something. You know what, let's go, I feel comfortable investigating this first. Oh. Blood conditions okay. are expected at lower elevations. Here. Sorry for the lagginess, guys. For some reason it's like really wanting to just mess with me. Okay. Oh. Can we turn this on too? Oh, just the fan. Okay, severe weather alert everyone. That doesn't sound good. Hi Terry, in close, please find a pioneer, blah 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 blah. Basically, it appears that this company wants this guy to write something for them. Making friends. Ha 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 ha. That would be if my dad brought me that feeling so sad. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them. No. And you have to get to know them. Never. I don't well, like people. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook. Oh! Looking so intense. That's the girl we saw in the picture. And I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. So this is in 1978, same man who wrote What's that book Dad wrote. Huh. Oh, okay, so he's a writer. He's writing for a magazine for one of his friends, I think. You can pause the game if you want to go watch that. What is this? Girl Scout. Role model. Oh, what is this? Nope, I don't like that kind of music. Okay, moving along. 
Sorry, everyone. I'm sure there was nothing interesting on it. If so, we are screwed. Ooh, pizza! Did they leave any for me? No. Uh, that thunderstorm keeps freaking me out. I don't like it. I don't like it. The Heaven at the Edge of the World by Samantha Greenbrier. Grade 2. Story of the Turtle People. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay. What's that? Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. Friend is spelled wrong. I don't have lots of friends, also spelled wrong, either. And so I thought I'd ask something, if you don't mind, yes or no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Oh. All right. That's a new piece of the story right there. That's how this house gets the reputation of the... The psycho house? Oh. Because the uncle who previously owned it was crazy? I shall. Ah. Ooh, first puzzle. First puzzle, everyone. No, I just want to look at the other drawers, actually. No, nothing. Okay. Let's go over here and turn on this lampy lamp. Okay. You can do better! What if JFK wasn't JFK? Then he just wouldn't be JFK. It's not that hard, everyone. It's not that hard. Pioneer. Why is that a question mark? Does anybody else see that? Oh, what? What? Oh! Oh! That's awesome. I cannot read that. Okay, we're gonna try. Dear Terrence, I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reached me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the 10 years since we last met. Your marrying gives me so much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill. I will understand if you feel you can't accept this invitation. Okay, so the uncle wanted him to come over a long time ago. Let's move along, move along. Okay, so I guess that explains all the creaking we've been hearing is electrical problems. That was like a little scrapey noise that kind of freaked me out, okay. Was it? Oh. This is so 90s. Oh my gosh. She looks like a mixture between 90s or early 2000s Christina Aguilera and Amy Poehler. Thumbs up if you see it. Uh, okay. What is this? What is this? Ooh, he wrote a second book. What is that? Oh dear. Oh, well, this is a children's show. I would not have this in my... Um, you have a wife, sir. You have a wife. Oh, oh, it's just a wallpaper. I thought there was something behind that. I was like, oh my gosh, we found a secret passageway and we're so good at this game. Uh, a stranger in my roof. Clearly they're having trouble with one of their kids. I'm guessing it's Sam. Since she's like, punk, bleh. Pause and read, everyone. Zero, four, five, one. Okay, 0451, 0451, 0451, 0451, 0451, let's do that, 0, yeah. 4, 5, 1, how do we do? Dear Mr. Mason, oh my 
please sign and close your original document and a top copy for your records. Alright, I'll just do it. Ah, will and testament. So he dictated that his home would go to Terrence. And I guess that's why they're living in it, because he died recently. What's this? Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of fun, but I can drive you home, too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker. If you still want to, we can meet in the parking lot after 6. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm ready to kick your butt. Get ready. And then it's like, come on, come on. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. That's disturbing. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, it's always good to be best friends with the person that like thinks you live in like a like a crazy haunted mansion. It's not like she's exploiting you for a scare factor at all. You should be friends with her. She sounds like a really reliable girl. What's this? Alright, birds and the bees. If anybody actually wants to read this. Hey! Your parents didn't explain it correctly. Arden is now your reproductive teacher, and I feel uncomfortable. Uh, we're going to close this folder, because I feel weird about it. Okay, um... Alright guys, so that is going to be part one of the playthrough of Gone Home. I hope you guys enjoyed. The second episode should be up soon, and you can watch a little bit more of it. I know there wasn't too much scary stuff, but that, I guess it's just one of the stories that builds. So, maybe in a couple episodes we'll see something truly terrifying. Who even knows? This might be one of those indie horrors that's not really that scary, like a lot are. Um, but yeah, okay, if you like this... Make sure to favorite it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Comment below and let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you like this series so far. And subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later. Bye.